Well, if you're just joining us, welcome to the Seven Stadium this afternoon, pitch seven for UAE Premiership clash between Dubai Exiles and Abu Dhabi Harlequins as they've just kicked off. Exiles kick in straight into touch. Exiles in black, Harlequins in Harlequins <laughs> in the white strip. Nice afternoon, quite bright, bit blustery. Let's see how the game progresses today. Exiles finding their form previous game. Harlequins being very consistent throughout the season so far. Early domination there from Harlequins in the scrum. Winning penalty. And a lovely high pick. Taking the game up to the 22 line. Exiles finding themselves on the back foot within the first few minutes. Bit of a scramble for the ball. Harlequins managing to recover it and now pushing the ball through the back line. They're just being thrown into touch. Line out. Exiles now. Comfortably taken by Harlequins. And the safety kick there. Scrappy again, but Harlequins again keeping hold of it. And the ball's been stolen as it pushes out wide. Peter Killian missed time in the pass. The whistle's gone. Call of a high tackle, so Exiles with the penalty.
battle against the win there, but again a few extra yards. Big pack today from Harlequins. We've travelled up to the sevens. And some treatment just going on for one of the Exiles players. As we rejoin the game now. David Gann with the ball, throw in four exiles. Taken perfectly at the back of the line. Guys. Botez now. Peter Killian taking the ball off the back. Exiles now winning the penalty, just creeping up to the Harlequins 22. As the kicking tee is brought on, Exiles looking for a quick three points. And the kick is good, red flags raised. And the first points on the board this afternoon to Dubai Exiles. Exiles three, Harlequins nil. Wins now with the restart, nice high ball. No problem taken cleanly there. I think that was Peter Killian. And again, trying to puncture through the Harlequins early on. Exiles kicking themselves out the 22, only making it just beyond the halfway line. As they return it back through, but lots of traffic. And the ball safely kicked into touch. Harlequins with the line out. I think this is going to be a very, very close game today. Harlequins moving the ball wide very quickly. Oh, and straight off his own player's head. And they've seen an option here, the back line being fragmented of the Harlequins. Botez. Oh, 
Oh, some strong running there by Bredawaku, Kenyan international. Support coming through a little bit slowly, but they managed to keep hold possession. And the infringement going against Harlequins at this time, Exiles. Possibly looking for the kick in T. And it's being run on the pitch. Exiles looking for another three. Again, bit of a crosswind up here on pitch seven this afternoon. of Exiles being quite positive the last few games but now a bit of win to contend with as well certainly a strong kick but not quite going between the posts Exiles remain three Harlequins nil just over ten minutes played of this first half And there is a call to hold the clock. And the ball being left there. Skunk Dupree's just letting the ball slip by. Connor Kennedy not wanting a piece of the action either. So the ball going as such. David Gann picking it up. Good to have Skulk back on the team, having spent some time away in Australia. On the long ball again, just like last time, going straight to the back of the line and Exiles driving that strong heavy pack of Harlequins. And again, still driving the ball. Exiles now taking the ball from the halfway line up inside the Harlequins 22 and still going strong. Um, that didn't quite go to plan there. Harlequins having the ball kicked straight into their hands. Fantastic work there from the Exiles forwards. The Exiles with kick to touch and putting the pressure back onto Harlequin yet again as they up to the five meter line now oh no. Tony there just marking the line match official Dave again is he going to look for the back of the line again no decided to go for the middle if exiles can get the drive again like they did on the previous there's a lot of bodies in there Back line looking ready to receive it. Brad Tuff just needs to move himself out the way. It's a bit of a distraction for Carell. But Exile's doing well to win the ball. Spotez recovers the ball.
simple kick into the side of the park. Exiles having so far won all their line outs. An opportunity again still on camped on the Harlequins five metre line. This time going back to the rear end of that line out. <laughs> They're dangerously on the line and the call's going to be there. However, the match official well placed to say the ball was held up. No try. Harlequins looking for the big kick here to try and take some of the pressure off, but it's going straight into the hands of Exiles. That was Cappy. Peter Killian. Botez with a quick ball out, the pot pass, not possible. And the penalty this time going the opposite way. Harlequins recovering the ball from the knock on. <laughs> Little over 16 minutes played. Exiles with that penalty earlier, the only score on the board. A bit of domination the last five or six minutes from Exiles. Harlequins not being able to get the ball in hand, but an opportunity now with their scrum to try and run their way out of their 22. Or certainly get a good boot on the end of the ball. And the fortunes twisted straight away as Exiles now offered the ball, clock off. And the hooker there just needing a bit of a breather. Brad Tuff from Exiles receiving some treatment, maybe a manicure. Or a pedicure, yeah. <laughs> Maybe both. Both teams just having a bit of a regroup. Great conditions and weather for playing rugby today. Got the shade from the stadium of pitch one just shielding them from the sun. Maybe around a high of 24, 25 degrees today in the middle of the day. So we'll be looking around about 21 right now. Exiles now with the advantage. And the ball's gone to ground, but it's been scooped up. And it looks like there's a yellow card now. And Harlequins, number two, finding himself on the naughty step for the next 10 minutes. It's 
some further treatment going on again with Mr. Botez. Exiles now with the scrum. Corral Thomas ready. No doubt they'll want to be driving this ball straight through. Back line looking strong and ready. Oh, well taken out there by Harlequins. Great double tackle. And it looks like they're going to win the ball in the process. Comfortably kicked into touch there. Harlequins, no issues with the throw, but it's been scooped up, the ball went loose. Corral. And the whistle has gone, another injury needing attention on the park. Exiles number one, Peter Killian. The assistant referee also having a chat with the referee. And it looks like a second yellow card for Harlequins. Harlequins now down to 13 men. They need to control their discipline here. One man on the bin for around about two minutes already. So for the next eight minutes, Harlequins down to 13. And a real opportunity now for Exiles to take advantage of the extra two players on the field. And in the same breath, an opportunity for Harlequins to prove their defensive worth with the two men out. Harlequins number two and number four, both on the naughty step. A real opportunity now for Exiles to get some more points on the board. Halfway through the first half, Exile still with the three from an early penalty. Dave again with the throw. Kicks blocked, but it's been picked up by number three. And Exiles finally crossing the line. And after a lot of work the last 10 minutes, finally crossing the whitewash to give Exiles the five. Thank <laughs> you. 
number three there for Exiles. Possibly Brad Tough. I haven't got the team sheet in front of me. And the kick's curling well through the centre of the post. Extra two points there for Exiles. Exiles 10, Harlequins yet to find the scoreboard. Just over 22, coming up to 23 minutes played at this first half up here on pitch seven at the sevens. Picked up by Botez. Oh, and the kick. Almost taken out. A two year old girl. We love a sense of danger. Matthew Mills' daughter, she should have known better. Whilst mum just stands laughing. <laughs> And the ball was not straight, but Exiles with the advantage as they go to look for the drive through the Harlequins defence. Botez now. <laughs> and the Exiles finding a newfound confidence. Again, two extra men on the field at this time. Peter Killian. Peter Killian taken into next week by the Harlequins. Great tackle there from Harlequins. Grell Thomas flicking the ball out, picked up by Connor Kennedy. Simply pumping the ball up the field and bounces comfortably into the side of the park. No opportunity there for the quick throw. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you had like four penalties. <laughs> Harlequins <laughs> Queens with the throw just outside the 22. And the ball's gone loose, it's scrappy. Picked up. Quinn's still with possession. Exiles advantage being played. An opportunity now. Skulk Dupree's with the ball on the wing. We know if he's got the loose ball. He's got the wheels to make it through, but Harlequin's defence holding him back. Peter Killian directing the play there with his hands. There's a boys queue up, Peter Killian yet again. And the ball just being spilt. Harlequins with an extra life just inside the five metre line. Knocked on there by Exiles. Scrum down Harlequins ball. <laughs> As it looks like Harlequins number two, the first of the naughty steps. 
back onto the park. Har Harlequins now with 14. Still with one in the bin. For the considered dangerous tackle. Both Skull and Connor right back at the halfway line expecting the kick. Harlequins fancied the run out but they weren't really going to get very fast. Winning the penalty in the process. Good solid kick. <laughs> Calls from the crowd to take out another child. It's a game of numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Any children, it's okay. <laughs> Law of averages, see 100 kids, aim for 10, hit one. Harlequins now. And the first time they've had a bit of a run in the last 15 minutes or so. And we know they got great running backs. Picks up Connor Kennedy as he sweeps across to Skulk. We know he's got the wheels, but he's got nowhere to go. He's one on three. Great tackle there from Harlequins. Exiles possession. Exiles number eight. And I think we were all, anyone was expecting him, Botez, to pick up the ball there, but he did. Ten valuable lads, oh. pass to Peter Killian, and the chip through, just picked up by the hand of Harlequins there. Just coming up to the final ten minutes of this first half. Connor Kennedy. That full back picking up the loose ball. He's got two to his left, but he goes for the chip. And now here go Harlequins. And a monstrous kick there from the Harlequins, taking exiles temporarily into the 22. Exiles go completely safe, knocking the ball into the side of the park. And just to show that when Harlequins have the ball in hand, the danger's there. Harlequins now back up to full strength. Both teams with 15 on the park. And Exiles finding themselves inside their own 22 for the first time in a long time. Connor looks to get a safety net. Exiles, no, Harlequins winning the penalty, taken quickly. Harlequins now on the attack. Oh, just spinning the ball forward, the ball's been knocked forward. And the try is not going to come on this occasion. Fantastic offensive effort there from Harlequins, finding themselves back up to 15, showing the dangers to Exiles.
<laughs> as we just stop the clock for some medical attention. Back on. Exiles needing to turn up the defensive clock. Radawaku now desperately trying to pick his way through, get exiles out of the 22. The ball is high. Ah, uh, Scout being slipped and cut inside nicely by Harlequins there. Harlequins taking the ball quickly, no one really paying attention to what's going on. Opportunity for Harlequins now. And the ball's been slipped, picked up by Brad. And I believe possession is going to be remain with Harlequins on the five metre line. Harlequins now with the scrum, taking the quick one, and there it is, Harlequins. Showing the spirit the last three or four minutes, finally crossing the whitewash to give themselves the first points of their afternoon. Reducing the deficit now to five and an opportunity for a further two. Oh, 
Exiles need to gather their thoughts here. Look at my tongue, come on, you know? You can see it. I'm here for sure. Oh, the kick hitting the posts. So the score remains Exiles 10, Queens 5. As the men in black now look to restart this game. And really needing to be careful. As Harlequins showing just how dangerous they are. And a thumping tackle there from Exiles. Winning the penalty in the process. And also picking up a bit of a dead leg in the process as well. Pelly number six in the orange boots. He's had some great thumping runs into the Harlequins defence so far this afternoon. <laughs> if David again lines up, it's a question, is he gonna hit the middle? Is he going to hit the back? So far, all line outs finding the intended target. And the long throw again, picked up quite nicely there by John Donnan. Botez trying to control the tempo. And still exiles now well inside. Harlequin's territory and they're still going strong. Five meters. And still they go, pumping the legs. And they cross the line. And the match officials' arm is raised. Exiles five. Harlequin's throwing everybody at that, but the momentum was there and just couldn't quite stop them in the tracks. Excellent, Exiles try. Rob trying to get his two pence worth. <laughs> Exiles taking the margin to 10. And a well worked, great return there from Exiles from the kickoff. And again, David Gen absolutely nailing it in the line out, hitting the back of the line, leaving the forwards to really gather momentum and just cross the whitewash. And a superb kick for the extra two. Exiles 17, Harlequins 5. Approximately one minute left to play of this first half test. Harlequins now to restart. Oh, and Harlequin stealing the ball there. Just not clean enough on the catch as he moves the ball wide, bouncing the ball first but picking it up with the hands. Oh. 
Brad Tuff there just trying to get his hands involved but not doing enough as Harlequins again really smashing their way into the Exiles defence. Exiles struggling to stop the run of the line. Harlequins round the edge. Winning a penalty. Are they going to take it quickly? Exiles need to get back and be ready. And in reversal of fortune and one missed catch, Harlequins capitalising and taking Exiles now back up to the five metre line. Match official just having a quiet word with the captain, Peter Killian. It's going to be a scrum down, Harlequin's ball, looking dangerous once more. now exiles up quick maybe not quick enough switching play and again winning a penalty and taken quickly and there's the placement Nice and clear, puncturing again through the Exiles defence, giving them another five. <laughs> and another kick directly in front of the posts. Unfortunate in the previous attempt to hit the, the post, but this one looks like it could be quite simple. Nice drop kick. Nope, he's going to use his tee. <laughs> and the kick is good, nice and easy. And that is half time up here. <laughs> Exiles 17, Harlequins 12, and we'll see you in a couple of minutes.
one now. Lord Kanye. Welcome back. To this second half premiership clash between Exiles and Abu Dhabi Harlequins up here at the Seven Stadium. As the lights, the floodlights now being switched on as it starts to lose natural light. And Apele finding his way clear and he's still got two to beat, but dragging the ball and dragging the guys into second half but picked up on the wing straight away and Exiles with the five points on the edge of the park there thanks to Apele for setting that up and the quick thinking heads up rugby from Dubai Exiles pushing the ball wide to the winger another great score by Dubai Exiles and Exiles managing to plant the ball for five Injury attended to on the side of Harlequins. But it does look like a retirement there for the Harlequins, so substitution to be made. Connor Kennedy looking for the two as he bends the ball over, just falling short of the crossbar. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't even think that is Connor Kennedy. My eyes are not what they used to be. <laughs> or maybe it was. I don't know. It doesn't matter. The man in black kicked the ball at the post and missed. Twenty-two exiles, Harlequins twelve, margin of ten. Tap back by Harlequins as they look to run through the centre of the park once more. We know they're dangerous. And he just fumbles the ball out. It's one knock forward, but picked up by Exiles as they take the advantage. No advantage coming. Exile scrum. Thank you for the suggestion, Mr. Newman. We can't put Do on the pitch. He's put on a bit of timber. And he's slow now. Time for the youngsters to come on and shine. Well, 
waiting patiently to scoop the ball off the back of the... And a great drive once again by the men in black. forwards but <laughs> the match officials well placed to see what was to be seen Mr Rob Riding Mr Wolf in America is saying hello there you go there's your shout out <laughs> And another great line out from Exiles. Epele now. Very strong pumping legs. And Botez also smashing his way through. Exiles, as they played in the first 20, 25 minutes of the first half, coming out firing. Bradawaku taking the ball further. Exiles winning the penalty. Harlequins not wanting to give the ball away where they are right now. As a Pele again trying to take the ball through the middle, covered well there by Botez. Everyone calling for it. Half a metre. And that is a try. Exiles again crossing the whitewash. And it looks like it was the hands of Peter Killian, Exiles captain, putting another five points on the board. Exiles 27, Quinns 12, and the extra two still to come. Bit of an easier position than the last. Struck well, and the extra two are there. Exiles now with two tries in this second half. Seven minutes played. Finding its way to the centre line. Harlequins with the restart. And taken well there. I think that was Mr. Donnan. Oh, the quick hands there and just being fumbled by Botez. It's going to be a scrum down. Harlequin's ball, great quick hands, just couldn't quite keep the ball on the end of his fingertips. Hands of acknowledgement in there from Bitez. Queens 
Now, with the scrum, and dominating it was too. Oh, brilliantly scooped up there by Pelle as he looks to move the ball wide. Skulk the prees and turns the wheels and pushes it. Harlequins back inside the 22, but the defence just scooping up the ball. And now Harlequins with a trick of their own. Oh, thumping tackle there. Exiles need to get back and be ready. We know they're dangerous. The ball is high. No problem, Connor Kennedy with the kick into touch, taking Harlequins back down to the 22. Again, Apelle involved with the breakaway. Skulk doing his best to try and catch up the chip ball, just being picked up by Harlequins. Harlequin's line out. And it's been spoilt, but they're going to keep the ball. Straight into the hands there of Lucas Waddington. In the right place at the right time. And spoiling any kind of movement that could have come from that. Harlequin's with the throw. And again, spoiled, but the whistle had already gone. Official just having a quick chat. Harlequins with the throw once more. And it's gone long. Picked up well. Exiles. Latest sign in, just taking the ball into the Harlequins defence. Ball is alive. A Pele now. This time running straight into the defence of all Harlequins. Lucas Waddington having a pop. As Killian offloads the ball to Boats, into the youngster from Exiles, taken to ground. And the Pele once again pumping. Oh, brilliantly picked up there's Brad almost finding his way through for a try, but the whistle had gone. It's going to be a scrum down. Ball to Harlequins. And at 27 minutes, we're going to have some attention from the physio. Exiles really playing out in this first 10 minutes of this second half. Harlequins really dominating the end of the first half. The Exiles finding that extra gear. Twenty-seven minutes left to play of this Premiership clash. Exiles twenty-nine, Quinns twelve. Harlequin scrum. 
and the ball gets spoilt. There's a scramble for the ball. Can't see what's going on, too much traffic. But Harlequin's just managing to kick the ball out of the edge of the park. And it looks like just coming inside their own five meter line. Bit of a panic kick there from Harlequins, but all credit managing to get the ball out, have a breather, reset. We stop the clock again for another pedicure just under the posts. Now the throw in from the men in black. And this is where they've been so dominant five or six times during this match so far as they've clearly crossed the line. And the hand is raised, another five there on the points for Dubai Exiles. Mr. Rob Riding coming over to give another 10 pence. Yet what? another drive over ball try for Dubai Exiles. There you go. <laughs> Score now 34 12 with the kick still to come. 25 minutes left of the match. And the kick not quite making the centre of the uprights. 34 exiles, Harlequins 12. Harlequins to restart. Styles through Peter Killian. And a strong, strong kick is coming. It just goes over the head of the winger there. Taken into touch. No quick throw. And it looks like there's going to be some personnel changes as Bradawaku exits the field of play. Great game from Brad. An opportunity for somebody else to have a go. And a great run in line there, but Harlequin's defence quickly to pick him up.
Lucas Waddington, club captain. And the long sweeping pass out to the edge of the park, Connor Kennedy. Pushing it out, looking for Skulk. And the Pele just being taken to ground. Bit of a loose ball and a, a foot in the mix, but Exiles find their way through the centre. Well picked up there by Harlequins, but Peter Killian now looking for the long ball. The young winger there, not really sure where to take it. He's got the support. But the ball going now to Harlequins just as they were about to approach the five metre line. There's a few tired bodies out there. And we're gonna have a substitution. Harlequins now bringing on some fresh legs. Harlequins with the scrum they're going to be looking to get themselves as far out of danger as possible the ball wasn't clean and he looks to get picked up but he slipped his man the chip really not sure what's going on there but it did look like his foot was in touch but it's not they got the bodies and he just the miss throw taking the ball into the side of the park Exiles went to take it quickly and it's been picked up by Harlequins yet again. What a ridiculous thing to do there from Exiles. Absolutely no need for that. That was just causing their own problems. But Harlequins capitalising and picking it up well. As they look for the run now, he's got one to the right of him. There's the pop. And they some say sometimes to keep things simple and Exiles have just made an absolute dog's dinner of what should have been something that was so simple and fortunate there that Harlequins with the knock-on given the possession back to them exiles in a position that they should never have found themselves Harlequins now holding up the Exiles pack and the Exiles winning a penalty.
And the ball comfortably kicked into the side of the park, not making much ground, just pushing the muck up to the 22. It looks like another substitution being made by Dubai Exiles. And one again, one of the youngsters coming on to replace Carl Thomas, exile scrum half. Time for him to take an early shower. Harlequins gaining possession. Harlequins looking dangerous. They've got the bodies, they've got the speed. Ball kept in play. And again, at the final breath, holding on to the ball, gifting exiles. Light reprieve. And this time a much better kick, taking out one of the audience, <laughs> they'll never learn. Exiles with the throw. It looks like Dave again also replaced previously by one of the finishers. And the line out not really going as intended and gifting Harlequin's possession right when you don't want it. Harlequins now with the throw. Bit of a fumble, but they keep possession. And the strong Harlequins line looking ready for a bit of running rugby. If only that the pass had been better and rugby football is what it is. <laughs> Harlequins just need to not panic here. Exiles defence, bit fragmented right now. Harlequins also with a man down on the pitch. As the ball's chipped forward, but it's been picked up. Looks like Connor Kennedy offloaded. Scout now with the wheels. The support needs to get there quicker. Exiles winning the penalty. The young Harlequins player does look to be in quite a bit of agony on the pitch. He's receiving treatment from the medic. And the whistle has gone. And that is the end of that game for the young Harlequin.
and another forced substitution due to injury. Exiles with the line out on the five metre line, taken well, the drive is there from the Exiles, the drive is strong and there's the hand, another five there for Exiles and their drive really really has been something else this afternoon. We knew that Harlequins pack are strong, they're tough, they're big but on this occasion Exiles again showing their true grit and power and powering over the line for another five. I've not opened anything. I've been here. In the Seven Stadium trying to force feed me breakfast baps. To keep me warm, it is getting chilly up here on the roof. That's a good strong kick, but just pulling to the right of the posts. Exiles 39. Exiles 39, Harlequins 12. Just under 12 minutes left to play of this second half. Picked up well there. Exiles again on the front foot. Peter Killian with a dummy. Exiles winning the penalty. Not to be too complacent, we know that Harlequins came strong, came back strong in the first half. With the last 10 minutes to go, scoring a couple of tries and just keeping that deficit to a minimum. Exiles need to remember that. And as much as they want to go forward, need to play some clever defensive rugby because we know Harlequins can turn this round very, very quickly. picked up Botez in on the action and just like that the ball switches to the Harlequins they want to take it quickly they know the time is ticking away but they get pulled back Kick into touch now, just creeping inside the Exiles. 50% of the pitch. And the ball going the opposite direction, but the ball's fumbled. 
Harlequins cleverly picking up the loose ball. The Exiles need to work hard off the ball. Oh, great line, but just being clipped there by the Exiles defence. Winning a penalty in the process, taken quickly. Oh, what a fantastic line there. Surely. And stolen. Stolen there by Exiles as he looks outside in the youngster. Just as he looked like he was off for a grand canter through the paddock. The match official blowing his whistle and spoiling the dream. Bringing it back to the Exiles five metre line, gifting Harlequins a penalty. I would say gifting, it was probably more than deserved. Harlequins looking to fight their way and puncture their way through the Exiles defence. Botez is planting himself ready. As they go for attempt number three. And he's held up and he's crashed into the ground. Exiles just needs to get lower on that tackle. You can't hit these guys at the top there like this. They win a penalty in the process. As it's skipped out and surely that is the try as he tries to dance his way around and look cool for his girlfriend, who's probably not here. Harlequins put another five onto their total. And as we said earlier, the last 10 minutes of this game, we knew Harlequins were gonna fight back. Is this the time that the tables get turned? And the kick just being pulled to the left of the posts there. So, Exiles 39, Harlequins 17. A little over five minutes left to play of this Premiership clash up here at the Sevens. Both teams with plenty of juice left in the tank. Exiles now with the restart. First time they've had to do this in this half. Exiles now needing to switch to some ultra defensive rugby. Harlequin's knocking the ball on, gifting Exiles a scrum. Just outside the Harlequins 22 now.
Exiles now at the back of that scrum. Looking to continue the drive. Winning a penalty in the process. Exile slowing down the ball. And the kick comfortably going into the side of the park. And a bullet throw there, straight to the middle of the Exiles line out. And the drive is there, the drive is good, it's solid. And, and there you go. Exiles showing true domination there in the front pack as they drive Harlequins back yet again over the whitewash, giving them a much deserved five points. taking the Exiles tally to 44. Two to three minutes left to play of this contest. It was a really strong kick and he gets the centre on this occasion, an extra two. Forty-six plays, Harlequin seventeen. As we hit the twilight of this game, surely no way back for Harlequins. And as we said in Exile's previous game, having the guys back from international duty and also the suspensions takes Exiles back to the formula that we know left them undefeated for over two seasons. Oh, great tackle there. Just spilling the ball back. Peter Killian now looking to put the ball wide. Lucas Waddington looks to try and take it one extra, but couldn't quite make his way through as the penalty is given to Harlequins for the knock on. And some of the Exiles players just starting to cramp up. As I say, the weather, the temperature dropping quite dramatically up here at the Sevens. It is quite chilly. This natural time has now dissolved. Any further time being played now that I haven't accounted to for stoppages. Great game, great contest up here at the Sevens. Exiles being dominant in the first 20 25 minutes of the first half. Harlequins seemingly coming back and scoring a couple of tries in the closing 10 minutes of the first half, but Exiles really being dominant in this second half up at the Seven Stadium this afternoon. A couple of key injuries unfortunately for the Harlequins. I feel 
may have contributed to that. There's a score line between Exiles and Harlequins is never usually this open. But here go Harlequins now with a last ditch attempt to try and get some further points on the board. Oh, he's found his way through. The offload was good. Still Harlequins. Inside the Exiles 22. The pop pass is good. Too much traffic. And a whistle again giving Carla Quinn's a penalty. Well inside of the Exiles 22. Taken quickly. Exiles don't want them to score. Harlequins throwing everything behind it. Oh, what a pass. Uh, just stumbling. Two metres. He's got a man outside him. He should have used him. And Exiles winning the penalty just when Harlequins were showing some danger. My mistake, I thought it was an Exiles penalty. Harlequins now still with possession, double tackled. And the knock-on finally coming from Harlequins. And that is the end of the game. Up here at the Sevens, this Premiership match between Exiles and Harlequins. Exiles 46, Harlequins 17. Both teams looking absolutely exhausted. We expected a closer contest than what was there on paper. Harlequins playing their heart out. Exiles just holding on strong and having the better of the second half which kind of swung the scores as reflected on the, ball, the board this afternoon. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you to our sponsors. We appreciate their support. Growing this game out here in the UAE. Look out on social media for the next game. We look forward to seeing you online. Thank you very much for joining us. Have a good rest of the weekend.